Well, hello everybody out there. I'm excited, I'm in a great mood, and you know why? Because August is t-shirt month here at Printify, and we put together a series of three webinars all throughout the month of August, all about the, the most popular product in all of print on demand, the t-shirt. So this is, will be the first webinar and I will be sitting down and I will talking, be talking comprehensively about the t-shirt itself. I'll be going over uh, several options for you so that, and explaining each, each and every little detail so you can choose the right t-shirt for your targeted customer, okay? So um, with that in mind, uh, I'd love to see how international this, uh, this, this audience is. I see people checking in from New Zealand. I see people from Playa del Carmen, Mexico checking in. We've got uh, San Diego, my old stomping grounds checking in. It's absolutely wonderful and thank you so much for joining me, okay? So let's get right into it, why don't we? T-shirts 101. By the end of this webinar, you're gonna have everything you need to know to choose the right T-shirt for you and you'll be a t-shirt expert by the time we get through the month of August. As always, we're gonna have a trivia question at the end of today's presentation, and we've mixed it up a little bit for t-shirt month. We're gonna be giving away the three most popular t-shirts in the entire industry, the Gildan 5000, the Bella Canvas 3001, and the Comfort Color 1717 in the three most popular colors, black, white, and gray. So for three lucky winners that answer our trivia question based on today's information, um, you will receive a, those three t-shirts with those three beautiful designs, and $50 of Printify sales credit dropped directly into your account. And uh, speaking of giving away money, you know how we like to do it here at Printify Webinars. Uh, at a two points in today's webinar, I will be giving out a coupon code. So I'm gonna ask you to have your Printify accounts open and ready, navigate using the little green button in the upper right hand corner to the payment section, and then scroll down to where it says uh, coupons and get ready to put in uh, a coupon code that I'll be announcing a little bit later for $50 of Printify sales credit, boom, right into your account. And just to let you know, you won't see any bells and whistles saying, hot dog, you're a winner, uh, or uh, uh, you will either get the sales credit or you will see a notice that says uh, this, this code doesn't exist because we only made one of them. So one of you who types the fastest will be the lucky winner. Put that in chat, let us know if you do win so we can all celebrate. And speaking of chat, we'll have a live Q&A at the end of today's session. So as those questions come in as uh, we go through the webinar today, no need to hang on to those until the end. Put those into chat. Our moderator, Christops, will collect those and I'd be happy to address those at the end. But I'd like to invite everybody watching to join me for my live Q&A sessions where you can sit down with me one-on-one. -on -one. I do them on Mondays and Wednesdays. They are 100% free. We're gonna pop that link into the chat. Uh, sit down with me. We can talk about anything about print on demand, Printify, all with the goal of making you a more knowledgeable and more profitable print on demand seller. So join me Mondays and Wednesdays. All right, well, I told you this was T-shirt month and I wasn't lying, I'm a man of my word. Today's webinar is gonna be all about T-shirts. Then in two weeks, we're gonna sit down with Michael Essick, who is a wizard when it comes to designing T-shirts. He's gonna let you know everything you know about how to place your designs, what designs work, all that stuff. And then we'll wrap everything up at the end of the month. We'll sit down with Julie Hines, who is a, one, of our, uh, one of our biggest sellers of T-shirts here at Printify. And she's gonna let you know, now that you've been able to select the right T-shirt for you, You've, de you've designed the uh, right design for your customer. Now, how do you sell that? We'll sit down with Julie and she'll let you in on, on, on her secrets, okay? So, T-shirt month here at Printify. I'm excited, you should be excited as well. So let's jump right into it, folks, okay? Here's what we're gonna cover today. We're gonna talk about, well, why you should be selling custom tees in the first place, okay? It it's, might be self-explanatory, but I'll, I'll at least make my case for why you should be selling T-shirts. Uh, and why you should be using Printify as your t-shirt partner, okay? And also, we're gonna go over the best-selling t-shirts. I have a whole lineup here. We're gonna, I'm gonna put these out and explain all the little details, so again, you can choose the right one that works best for you. And then we'll talk about the available styles, the materials, you know, everything about t-shirts that you've ever wanted to know, we'll cover in today's webinar, okay? And as we'll have a live Q&A at the end, put those questions into chat, okay? All right, well, why should you even sell t-shirts? Well, first of all, they are the most popular product in all of print on demand. Of our top 10 selling products, five are t-shirts. 
Now, this you may think, oh my goodness, well, everybody's selling t-shirts, it's a saturated market. Well, yes and no. Yes, everybody's selling t-shirts, but there's a reason. Because people want to buy t-shirts. It's the number one product people out there want to buy from print-on-demand sellers like you. They, the pie is big enough for everybody. Just look at these numbers on here. 4.3 billion just last year alone, set to be bigger this year, and I bet you it's going to climb up and up as we get into the future. Because you know why? Just think of it. Look in your closet right now. How many t-shirts do you have packed away? Probably a lot. I just got into it with my wife because I gave away a whole bunch of t-shirts. I donated them and then I bought a whole bunch more just, I, just because it's a great way to express yourself. It's a great way to dress for the occasion, especially here in summer. And it's a, product, uh, it's a product that you can offer at a reasonable price and still make a hefty amount of profit on. Most of our top sellers feature t-shirts as their main product. So that's something to think about, okay? And again, the pie is big enough for everybody. So get your slice. And demand stays high for t-shirts all year long, okay? Even in the winter, even in the holidays, it's a popular product to sell. Again, people uh, buy t-shirts for specific needs throughout the year. There's, there's custom, there's custom t-shirts. T-shirts are a great gift for the holidays. You can see how it spikes up during, uh, during the November to December holiday buying season. And you can see right now here as we're in August, if you look, it, it, hit, it hits a nice little peak after the, after the summer lulls. And that's due to back to school where all the kids are going back to school and they need their t-shirts to, uh, for the first day at school or at college. And t-shirts are a great way to express a little bit of individuality. And you as the print on demand seller are uniquely poised to provide designs uh, that, you, that speak to your targeted audience and that they wanna buy from you. And they're very easy to make. Thanks to our very innovative mock-up generator, they're super easy to, to design in your Printify account. And with the uh, additional features that have come along with our, with our text editor, adding um, what was something up, I think it's like 300 fonts. And now we have language specific fonts so that you can uh, uh, use, use your, your local language in, in your, in your, local, uh, in your uh, native characters. And we have emoji support. And that's just for now. I mean, we're gonna be rolling out new stuff all the time. So, uh, and this is all available for free in your Printify account. And there, it's, it's easy to make, which allows you to respond quickly to trends, okay? And t-shirts are, are the best product to uh, get out there quickly if you're responding to things that are popular in the cultural zeitgeist or uh, things that are happening in your, in your particular targeted niche. Um, because you can get this, get this out there, and if, if a politician says something silly or uh, someone gets assaulted at the Oscars, whatever it might be that's going on at, at the particular moment, you can create a design, get that up, and, and as a t-shirt, people can start wearing that at work. You know, if something happens, happens on a Friday or during the weekend, you can have that up for sale, and then they can be, by the, by the end of that week, they can be, they can be the first uh, in the office to be to be uh, uh, showcasing your, your style and uh, taking advantage of those, of those popular trends. And there's no shortage of options. I'm only gonna be able to go through a few of them today for you, but just take a look at our catalog. You'll find that there's something for everybody. Chances are, if your customers want to buy it, you will find it in our catalog. And we're adding new stuff all the time. Okay, so no one has the selection we do here at Printify, so you as the Printify merchant are uniquely poised to take advantage to find exactly what your customers want to buy from you. So uh, I mentioned Printify. Now uh, we are the best option for the, for the merchant that wants to sell t-shirts, and I'll tell you why. Okay, because we have the most competitive prices in the industry. Um, now, pricing is, is interesting, and it's based on a lot of different factors. I mean, we can, our lowest price t-shirt is under six bucks. That's pretty darn good, and that's with the uh, Printify Premium sub Subscription Program. Um, and uh, the, the prices of the t-shirts are based on a few different factors. Uh, the, the fabric weight or fabric content that is used, uh, the available print areas, if you use more, multiple print areas, that's gonna cost you a little bit more. Um, the print type, meaning like a, an all over print shirt, we'll get into that a little bit later, it's gonna cost a little bit more. Different colors, uh, different print providers offer different colors uh, for different prices. Um, more popular colors are gonna be offered at a better price, less popular colors that are, that, that, uh, uh, that are still um, 
that are still sought by, by customers are gonna be offered at a slightly higher price. And then keep in mind that those 2Xs, 3Xs, 4Xs are always gonna be just a little bit more expensive as well. Okay, and if you, if you uh, add in some branding options, well, uh, th that's gonna run you a little bit more. We'll get into that here a little bit later, um, but just know uh, that uh, you, no one's gonna give you a better deal on that than Printify. And of course, we have the highest quality standards. Of course, quality is something that I've seen massive improvements on in just my years in the industry. Um, it's never been better than it is now, and it, but that doesn't mean that there still isn't room for improvement. So we are constantly working with our providers to streamline the process to make sure that every single, uh, every single t-shirt that is printed is printed exactly uh, how you want it, and it arrives just how your customer expects it to be, okay? Um, and it's also, it's all based on the 10 commandments of production. Now that is, and I'll run through these, I'll run through these quickly. Um, now picking, now that means the, how the, how the uh, product is uh, drawn from the warehouse and enters the uh, production queue. Now this is an area where technology has been embraced and just, just the years that I've been in the industry, um, they, it, it, there were some print providers that used to keep their inventory and stock by just making marks on a box, on, on the box next to the shirt. Okay, and you can, uh, you can understand how mistakes can be made with that. Uh, but now the entire industry has embraced uh, QR codes and, and scanning and the uh, latest technology to st stream it all, streamline it all, to make sure that when you order a small, a small is picked and printed. And of course, pre-treating the, uh, pre-treating the uh, design is, uh, paramount to having a good end result. And of course, heat, heat press technology has also come a long way. I used to, it was back in the day when you would see a, a heat press stain every once in a while, but now that has been improved. And um, so heat press stains will often cause a t-shirt to, uh, to be sent to for reproduction. And anytime that happens, you're just adding to the uh, length of the production time. So if you eliminate that, things get out the door faster. Now, every design is going to have a white underbase applied. Now, that is something you should know. Uh, with one notable exception, white, plain white t-shirts will not have an underbase. Well, why? Because it's already white, okay? And that is done so that the design itself has a base to be uh, displayed upon, uh, in a, resulting in a much better end result. And of course, dryer technology, so no, nothing gets scorched, has been improved. Preventative maintenance, they're always uh, working on the machines to make sure that there are no stops in production uh, leading to delays. And then pallet placement, making sure that every time that shirt is, is put onto the uh, print pallet, that it's not slightly askew. It's, it goes on the same way every time so that design is printed exactly where you want it to. And then uh, a, a well-trained staff, uh, quality controls, and then streamlined shipping so that once that t-shirt is printed, it is uh, packaged and it's entering and it's, and it's on a truck headed to your customer's uh, address as quickly as possible, okay? So, Branding. Now that is something we have, we've spent, we've been burning a lot of calories on here at Printify and we have neck labels available right now with Demona Tees, but this is an exclusive just for you folks that are watching coming soon. And when I say soon, I mean like very, very soon, you'll be able to have this option with Monster Digital and Swift POD, our two most popular print providers and at the lowest price in the industry as well. So that's gonna be super, super cool and that's coming just right around the corner. And also, branded inserts. Branded inserts, that's gonna be available from, for, uh, from, for, from uh, uh, more and more print providers as we, as we go through. This is a great opportunity for you to uh, add a little personal touch to your, uh, to your, to your orders. Uh, this one in particular has a, has a spot for uh, an, an, a, an email address and a coupon code that you can use to generate repeat business. I mean, this thing is, is uh, uh, we've been, our customer, excuse me, our merchants have been asking this for a very, very long time and the day is here and it's gonna be offered with more and more print providers as we move forward. Absolutely wonderful stuff, okay? So, um, I promised you folks a chance to win some money, so let's get right to it. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to get out your Printify accounts, navigate using the uh, little green button to the payment section, go down to where it says coupons, and prepare yourself to enter today's first coupon code. Are you ready? 
Gildan 5000, the most popular t-shirt in the entire industry written just like this. I can hear you all out there in New Zealand and San Diego and California uh, typing furiously. So if you are the first to uh, enter this code and you get the 50 bucks, let us know in the chat so we can all celebrate. And if you didn't win, well, sorry, but you will have one more chance later on in today's presentation, okay? And again, you won't see bells and whistles saying you won or lost. You'll either get the cash or you'll see a notice that says this coupon code does not exist, okay? But you'll have one more chance to win here in just a little bit. Well, let's talk about the best-selling t-shirts, okay? Great. First of all, I mentioned it uh, during the coupon code there, the Gildan 5000, excellent tee, the most popular in the, in the industry. We'll go over the ins and outs of it here in just a minute. Um, I, I, uh, these are in order of popularity. You've got the Bella Canvas 3001, the Comfort Color 1717, on and on down the list. If you were ever wondering what are the most popular, um, well, our data shows that these are the most popular, okay? Now, if you were wondering what are the most popular colors, well, we've got them listed for you right here. Now, you should know that looking big picture, looking at the entire, looking at the entire industry, black is by far the most popular t-shirt color, hands down. It's number one with a bullet, okay? Um, it has, I mean, it's, it's not even close. With white being second, but uh, I mean, if we're just talking black and white shirts, that is the majority of t-shirts that are sold. Now, does that mean you can't sell those other colors? Well, of course not, okay? It's just if you look big picture, um, black and white shirts are what people wanna buy from print-on-demand sellers, okay? Now that's gonna vary by niche and by your target customer, but uh, there we have it. And then we get into the grays and the navies and the natural. Now that natural is a color that's exclusive to the Bella Canvas 3001. And then red and the athletic heather and sport gray. I almost consider those the same color uh, because they're so similar. So if you combine those, that would move them up the list a little, a little bit. And then of course we have the heather mobs and the heather navies. Okay, and we'll get into a little bit of what, uh, what, what I mean by heather in terms of color and fabric, okay? But if you wanted to know, there you go. But black, by far the most popular t-shirt color of all time. So who wants to check out some t-shirts? All right, good, I'm glad because I have, um, I'm gonna go through these relatively quickly. I just wanna tell you the small differences because first of all, t-shirts are all pretty much built the same. There's a big hole at the bottom, you stick, you stick your body through, hole at the top that pokes out and two, arms, two, two holes for your arms, okay? But there are some subtleties you should know about. And before we get into this, you should know that some t-shirts are built with tubular construction and some are built with side seams down the side. Now, tubular constructed t-shirts are going to be, uh, are gonna be cheaper because there's less uh, labor involved. There's no stitching that has to be done. So those can be, uh, those can be, uh, cons those can be made at a cheaper price and they are less form-fitting. They're gonna be, well, tubular. Okay, now the human body isn't tubular. Uh, well, maybe some of us are more tubular than others. Uh, but uh, if you have side stitching available uh, on shirts, now that's gonna allow you to, to contour those in, in, in several different ways that we'll get into. And I'll also be mentioning the fabric weight of the, of the shirts in terms of grams per square yard. So, and what that means is the larger the number, the more material is involved, and that's gonna correspond to a more robust and heavier, uh, heavier feel, okay? So as I go through, you'll just, uh, you'll be able to understand it thusly. Now, this is the first, this is the first most popular shirt in the entire industry, the Gildan 5000, okay? And it's, uh, and it is uh, constructed with tubular construction, so it is, uh, it is gonna be very flowy and a little bit more baggy than most. I find it to be a very comfortable, comfortable shirt. I have several of these. Um, but as you, as you can see, there is fine stitching throughout the collar here. And uh, the sleeve holes are very wide and comfortable. Okay, now that's basically what sets this apart. It's a very heavy duty shirt. It uh, has a fabric content of 5.3 um, ounces per square yard. So it's a very uh, robust shirt. It's very um, uh, 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 applicable to uh, working outside or um, a very uh, comfortable shirt. It's, it's, it's very low price because it's, it's popular and can be 
uh, produced in high numbers. So that drives the price down. And since it is, uh, has such a um, generous fabric content, you really feel uh, like you're buying a substantial shirt. So it's something you can charge a, good, a decent price for and uh, capture a lot of profits, but then once your customer receives it at the end, they feel like, they've, uh, they feel like they're getting their money's worth. Okay. Now the second most popular shirt in the industry is the Bella Canvas 3001. Now this is a shirt that is constructed with a side seam. Okay. Um, these are uh, both of the shirts that I've just shown you are unisex cut shirts. Most of the, most of the top selling shirts are unisex cut. And what that means is that it is a shirt that is not necessarily constructed to fit perfectly for both men and women, but it is a shirt that is, that can be worn by men and women. And this one in particular, the Bella Canvas 3001 is very popular with, um, with uh, 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 sellers that target uh, uh, specifically women because although it is a unisex cut shirt, the side seam down, down the side allows for a more contoured fit. And what you're gonna see with these sleeves are the sleeve holes are a bit more narrow and they're gonna be a little bit shorter as compared to the, to the 3000, excuse me, to the uh, Gildan 5000, okay? So it's very popular, uh, very, very robust stitching on the collar, as you see here. So it's a high quality shirt. The fabric weight is gonna be a little bit lower, which is gonna make it a, a, a bit lighter. Um, this is gonna be a, a, about 4.2 grams. Um, so it's a, a, a lighter, more comfortable fit. I have several of these as well. They're very, very comfortable, um, but uh, very popular, uh, very popular with the ladies. Now this next shirt is quickly becoming my absolute favorite. This is the Comfort Color 1717. When we introduced this shirt, we didn't necessarily know how popular it was going to be. But uh, it turns out it was very, very popular. Now this it has a, uh, a fabric weight of 6.0, so it's even heavier than the Gildan 5000, and you can really feel it. It's very substantial. It has a very, very nice, comfortable feel. And if I can show you closely here, um, there is some very, very fine stitching around the, around the sides that your customer is really going to be able to uh, notice. This very attractive tag also sets it apart. And this is uh, a tubular constructed shirt, so there's no side seam and very comfortable armholes. Very, I would say similar to the 3001. Um, so it is quickly becoming one of the most popular shirts in the entire industry. And it is a shirt you can charge a premium price for and list as premium. And, uh, and with that brand recognition of comfort colors, your customers are gonna really identify with that. So that is something you might wanna think about. Although it is slightly more expensive than the Gildan uh, 5000 and the, and the Bella Canvas 3001, if you can make a case for it and market it as, as a premium option, your customers won't be disappointed when they receive that in the mail. All right, well, let's move along. This is the Gildan 64,000 soft style tee. Okay, also very, very popular. Um, just barely behind the Comfort Colors, uh, Comfort Colors 1717. Now this is also a light fabric, a unisex cut um, with a fabric weight of 4.5. This is a tubular constructed shirt, so no side seam. Um, very light. This is Gildan's answer to the Bella Canvas 3001, so it's going to be very similar. But as you as you can as we get in a little bit closer, you can see very fine stitching right around here. A very attractive collar. It's not ribbed. It's going to be it's a uh, 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 um, unribbed. And the sleeves narrow and shorter than the Gildan 5000, but a very comfortable shirt and very very popular. Now, sticking with the Gildans, this is the Gildan 2000, okay? Now, this is called the Ultra, uh, this is the Ultra Cotton Tee. Now, when I mean Ultra, it's going to be a heavier fabric content than the uh, 5000. This is going to be at, um, this is going to be at 6.0 percent, or excuse me, 6.0 grams. So it's even heavier, heavier duty than the Gildan 5000. Um, so you can market it as such and it re you can really feel the difference. Um, this is a very well constructed, very durable, very high quality shirt and also very, very popular. Um, 
constructed very much in the same way as the Gildan 5000 in the tubular design, no side seam down the side. And um, the armholes are very spacious and uh, comfortable, okay? So very nice. Uh, if you do decide to sell the uh, 2000, you can, uh, you can up, up market it uh, past the uh, 5000. Now this is also one of my favorites. This is the Next Level 3600. Now I work with several merchants that swear by this thing. And it is uh, also uh, very lightweight in design. It's got a fabric weight of uh, 4.3 ounces. It's a premium fit. This is actually a men's shirt, a men's cut shirt. And what that means is it's uh, as it is constructed with side seams, they're able to contour this a little bit more. And this is going to, this is going to taper, but only at the bottom. Okay. So it's going to come in at the waist a little bit, very high quality shirt. Uh, worked with merchants in the past that would, would market it as such. Um, and would, and they absolutely swear by it. Um, it's also going to run a little bit longer as it is a men's cut. But as you can see here, very comfortable armholes. And if you could feel this, this is super soft and super nice to the touch. And that is the next level 36, uh, 3600. Now this one is the Hanes Beefy Tee. And when I say beefy, it is beefy. You can really, this is a heavy shirt. You can really feel the weight of the, uh, the, weight of the fabric. And it's at 6.1. This is gonna be the heaviest uh, shirt that, we, that I show you today in terms of fabric weight. And it lives up to its name. I mean, it is a, an oversized shirt. Um, and uh, it's, it's great for uh, streetwear and uh, 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 con construction sites, I mean, you name it. This is, this is a very comfortable shirt. And if you can take a look at the armholes here, you can see that they're very wide and very comfortable. This whole thing is built with comfort in mind. Very roomy and, uh, and uh, 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 plenty, of, plenty of room uh, and plenty of comfort. And these are actually very much in style. This sort of uh, bagginess look is very much in style. Um, so very popular with the younger crowd. Uh, and I find them very, very comfortable too. I'm a bigger guy. So uh, any, anything like that is right up my alley. Moving along, this is the first women's cut shirt that we will be uh, featuring. This is the Gildan uh, Soft Style, uh, Women's Soft Style Tee. It's a very light fabric coming in at 4.5 ounces. And you'll see the side, se the side seam construction it allows this for a very tapered look. Now, this is a uh, women's tee, so um, it's, it's uh, marketed as being... Um, semi-fitted, so it's designed to fit closely, but not super snug, but it will, uh, it, 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 it will taper along the sides. Now, also what you'll find in these women's cut tees is the sleeves are going to be much shorter and much slimmer, and much uh, uh, slimmer at, at the opening, okay? And that is a, uh, uh, that, that, that you'll find almost universally with women's cut shirts. Now, there's gonna be more, uh, design variation in, in women's cut shirt in terms of the uh, in terms of the uh, width, but one thing you need to be aware of is the uh, uh, size charts that we have on on all of our our products, and it's especially important for these women for these uh, female cut shirts because each one is is designed uh, uh, each one is designed differently with different fits in mind. But this is a, a very nice, very, very comfortable shirt from Gildan. Okay, moving down to the last two. This is another women's cut shirt. This is Bella Canvas's answer to Gildan's uh, women's soft style shirt. Now this is the Bella Canvas 6, 6004, also a very light fabric, lighter than the previous shirt that I showed you at 4.2 ounces. And this is uh, also a, this is a slim fit and this is also gonna run a bit longer so that is, that is something that you need to be aware of if you wanna feature this shirt. But very much the same sort of construction with the side seams that we, uh, the, that the, uh, as the Gildan that I showed you. But, uh, but the differences are gonna be, like I said, it's gonna run a little bit longer. But the sleeves, very attractive, very, very nice, uh, obvious double stitching at, at the end, but they're gonna be much shorter and much uh, slimmer. Okay, and that's, that's gonna be able to uh, contour the female frame very, very well. Now, the last shirt I want to feature for you is the all over print shirt. Now, the all over prints shirts are very light, but they are 100% polyester. 
Um, and they're also gonna be tagless. Very light fabric coming in at about four, ounce, uh, four ounces. Um, but these have to be polyester because they are sublimation printed. And the sublimation printing process uh, adheres much better to synthetic fabrics. So most, uh, excuse me, all of uh, all of our print garments are going to be 100% polyester. Um, but you can, but you can, uh, uh, which results in a very, sh in a much shinier finish. But some people prefer that uh, uh, synthetic fiber because it really hangs nice on the body. Um, but this is, uh, but this, keep that in mind when you are designing your all over print products that, uh, that, that you have to account for the synthetic fiber, the way it uh, drapes over, over the human body. Okay. But very, very good construction. Each one is, uh, uh, each section of this shirt is printed individually and then it's sewn together at the factory. Um, and very nice, but again, keep in mind, 100% polyester. Okay. Now that is just a little bit um, uh, of the of t-shirts. The there was one thing I did forget to mention about the uh, Gildan 64,000. Now that is a Euro fit, so it's going to run a bit slimmer. For a guy like me, if I was going to use the, uh, the Gildan uh, 4,000, excuse me, 64,000, I would, I would buy a size up. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I just wanted I just wanted to make that point, but before we move on, and there's a couple that uh, I, I left off the list that uh, that that bear uh, mentioning. Um, that is the uh, unisex tri blend tee from Next Level. Now that's going to incorporate more synthetic fabrics. It's going to be 50% polyester, 25% rayon, and only 25% cotton. But the result of that is going to be uh, have that nice drape and feel of those synthetic fibers, but with that little bit of cotton content, you're going to get a lot of that cotton look to it. I worked with a merchant in the past that was 100% against using anything other than 100% cotton shirts. I convinced him to offer the tri-blend and it really took off for his sales because you, you still have that cotton look, but his customers really responded to the feel and the comfort of it. So uh, that's something you, you might want to take a look at. But we have tons of other options in our, in our catalog. This is only really scratching the surface. So do yourself a favor and take a tour through the catalog and you'll find all sorts of tie-dyes and, and, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and move on, move on and talk about the uh, uh, other styles and some of the other materials. And I want to explain exactly what the, what, what the, what the um, heather colors mean in terms of, of fabric as well. Okay. Now we talked about the unisex cuts. We talked about the uh, women's shirts, the men's shirts. Unisex cuts. Um, some work work better for, for for women than others. Specifically, the uh, three thousand and one. Um, but keep in mind those women, those uh, female cut shirts um, are going to have a lot of different variations. So if as long as you follow the uh, sizing guide and communicate that with your customers, uh, I don't think that there should be an issue as long as your customers know what they are ordering. And then of course, when it comes to kids shirts. Uh, I, I didn't show you any examples, but this is a part of the industry that has really exploded in just the years that I have been here. Um, but for these, it's super important to communicate um, exactly what your customers should expect when it comes to infant shirts, the toddler shirts, the, the youth shirts. It's super important that, uh, that in, in your descriptions that you are um, clear about what it is you, you are ordering. I have two young children myself. I have made the mistake of buying the wrong size, both too big and too small. Um, but uh, as, long, as, long as, you, as long as you communicate and, and hold fast to that size guide, you should have no issue. Now styles, now there's a whole bunch here that we, that, that we didn't mention. I mean, there's long sleeve shirts, there's short sleeve shirts. I mean, uh, it's, it's a great way to diversify your lineup. Um, we, didn't, we didn't even talk about V-neck shirts. Now, the reason was because V-neck shirts, way less popular than crew neck shirts. And that's something that you, that you might wanna consider. If you wanna make V-neck shirts the cornerstone of your, of your print-on-demand business, well, um, better, to, better to feature them as, as, uh, as, as an option, but not build the foundation of your t-shirt empire on V-neck sweatshirts. And of course, there's crop tees. Now, these become more popular during, during certain times of, uh, during, during, uh, during certain years rather than others. Uh, a few years ago, they were super popular. Um, and it just goes with, with uh, fashion and styles. It's going to come back into fashion uh, 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 
at some point, but it's great if you want to feature it as part of your streetwear line or, or if it matches the uh, matches up with what you're trying to provide with your customers. And then organic tees as well, if you wanted to feature that as part of, uh, as part of your uh, marketing campaigns or if that is something that is... Uh, uh, that that you want to feature that sort of eco-friendly vibe, uh, we have those options as well. Tie dyes, we have tons of tie dyes. I didn't even I didn't even pull any out to show you, but just if that's what you're looking for, just go to our catalog and you can find that there. Uh, football and baseball jerseys all over prints, uh, camo and animal prints, and don't forget those three-quarter length sleeve baseball shirts that that we also have. I personally love those, but I'm I'm just a I'm a, I'm a baseball nut. Now the materials, now of course there's cotton, there's polyester. I touched briefly about the cotton and polyester blends and then the, the uh, tri-blends. So just be aware of the different uh, composition of your shirt and, um, and, and communicate that with your customers. And if you only wanna offer 100% cotton shirts, please do so. But just keep in mind that when we talked about those uh, popular colors, I did mention that a few of them were heathers. Now, how do you describe a heather shirt? Now. Heather shirts are, have a sort of dark ticking along them that breaks up the, so, the solidness of the color. And in so doing, that adds about 10% of polyester to the, to the uh, fabric content of the shirt. Now, heather colors are very popular. Some colors, uh, uh, like a couple years ago, like all of a sudden, heather olive became the most popular uh, holiday season color and everybody wanted a Heather, Heather Olive shirt, okay? So what's gonna be popular is going to, is going to change over the years. Um, but it, personally, I love a Heather shirt because I think that little bit of uh, polyester really adds to the comfort of the shirt and quite frankly, I prefer it. Um, but just take a look. All of these shirts, I highly recommend if you want to feature them as part of your business, as part of your t-shirt empire, I highly recommend that everybody watching order themselves a sample so you can get that in your hand. Chances are you might have some of these in your closet already or you might be f familiar with them, but order yourself a sample. Um, one, so you can understand the, uh, the end customer experience and two, you can really understand what it is you are offering to your customers, okay? Now, of course, uh, just briefly, there's all sorts of different print types. We talked about sublimation printing. We talked about the direct-to-garment style, the DTG. And of course, we're also starting to feature direct-to-film. Now, that is a, uh, a print process. Instead of having it, it's printed like, uh, like you would a document on a laser printer, it's uh, applied much like, uh, like in sticker form, and then uh, using heat transfers it to the, to the garment. Uh, we're offering that with a few products, but uh, that will probably expand in the future as it's, uh, as it's starting to get a little uh, very popular. But the end result is a little bit shiny, um, so, but, uh, which could be a plus or minus depending on if, if, if that's your thing or not. So, um, but, but yeah, and as we move, uh, move into the future, who knows what sort of technologies will, will be introduced uh, into the industry. All right, well, I offered you an opportunity uh, to win some more money, and I am nothing if not a man of my word. So I'm going to ask you to get out your Printify accounts, click on the little green button in the upper right-hand corner. From the drop-down menu, navigate to the payment section, and go to where it says coupon, and prepare to enter today's second and final coupon code. Okay? All right. Today's second coupon code is... Comfort Colors, all one word. As I mentioned before, Comfort Colors is fast becoming my go-to shirt. I absolutely love it, very comfortable, uh, and, uh, and it's something your, your customers will absolutely love. It's available in some really, really cool colors. Um, so uh, if that's something that you, that you would like to feature, I, I would highly recommend it. But order yourself a sample first. You're going to like it. All right, well, before we wrap things up and go to the uh, live Q&A section, I just want to invite everybody again to join me on Mondays and Wednesdays. Sit down with me live uh, from my home studio, and we can talk about anything uh, in the print-on-demand universe. Uh, if you have questions about anything that I covered in this webinar, please bring those and we can discuss them. Or if you just want to learn ab about how to navigate your Printify account better or uh, have questions about how to sell better, we do uh, uh, store audits, we do all kinds of fun stuff. We, uh, the, you never know where the conversation is going to go. So join me on Mondays and Wednesdays. We'll put that link into the chat. Book your spot today. All right. Um, so... 
Two weeks from today, we're gonna to be sitting down with Michael Essick, and now that you've gone through this webinar and have selected your the t-shirts that you wanna feature, sit down with, with me and with Michael, and we'll talk all about how to design the perfect shirt. Not only the perfect shirt, but a shirt that your customer wants to buy. So join me in two weeks, um, and we're gonna pop the link for the, uh, for the uh, 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 landing page so you, can book your, so you can book yourself a spot. But two weeks from today, we're gonna to go live with another webinar. And then two weeks after that, we're gonna sit down with Julie Hines and talk about selling. All right, well, I promised you a live Q&A session. So let's go ahead and check that out. We've got a few questions here. Okay, thank you to everybody that has made it at least this far into the webinar and thank you for submitting your questions. Hope we all learned something today and are uh, better able to uh, select uh, a t-shirt that works best for you. Okay, so AZ Apparel Stowe, Stowe, has a question. Uh, Bella Canvas is good for all season, question mark. Um, yes, um, like I showed you in that sales chart, it certainly sells all year round. Okay, there's gonna be dips and things like that, but Bella Canvas, yes. One of, it's, it, it's a name people know, it's a name people trust. Uh, I know people that I've worked with in the past, they sell only Bella Canvas and they feature it uh, upfront as part of their, as part of uh, the uh, product descriptions and in their marketing so that people know exactly what they're buying. But yes, good for all seasons. They have several options, the 3001 being the most popular. Um, but of course there's, uh, there's um, uh, feminine cut shirts and all kinds of different stuff you can select from Bella Canvas. But again, yes, good for all seasons. Uh, Richard and Carrie ask, uh, which is, uh, which is a heavier t-shirt material? Well, um, it's gonna be your cottons that's uh, at, at various degrees that are gonna be the heaviest. Um, but keep in mind, I mean, when we're talking about things like, you know, 4.5 uh, uh, ounces per square yard or 6 point, uh, or 6.1 ounces per square yard, I mean, we're talking about t-shirt fabric, so nothing's gonna to be too heavy. You're gonna be able to feel the difference between a Bella Canvas 3001 and a Hanes Beefy tee for sure, okay? Um, but, uh, but uh, I mean, if you're, if you're worried about it being too heavy, uh, no, absolutely not. But if that is something that you want to offer, sort of a heavier feel, a more robust experience to your customers, yeah, those heavier shirts like the Gildan 2000, the Hanes Beefy tee, and the Comfort Color 1717, um, are, are, uh, are the way to go. And most of those are gonna be uh, created, or, or, excuse me, manufactured with that tubular construction. So they're gonna hang a bit looser. Um, so for guys like me, those are the kind of shirts that, that, we, uh, that we go for. Okay. Uh, and thank, for your, thank you for your question, Richard and Carrie. Um, Ed Fred Ned. Ed Fred Ned. Wonderful name, Ed Fred Ned. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, Ed Fred Ned has a uh, question. What if we want to get a more rough look and don't want an underbase? Okay, well, you can, you can counteract that by your design. Um, the underbase itself is, it gives a uh, foundation for the, uh, for the uh, uh, design to uh, sit upon so that uh, not so much ink is absorbed by the fabric itself. But if you are looking for a more rough look, certainly compensate that with your design. Don't count on the printing process to, uh, to rough up your design. That's something you can accomplish yourself with your, with your design, because we will print it exactly how you submit it to us. Okay, so I would, I would suggest for a more consistent look, accomplish what you're going for in your design and we'll print it exactly how you like it, rough or not. Um, Ananda World, Ananda World has a question. Thank you, Ananda World, for joining. Uh, which shirt is the most durable shirt after washing it 20 plus times? Okay, well, um, they're all pretty durable. I mean, I've had some Bella Canvas 3001s for years that I still wear. Um, so in, in terms of durability, yeah, I mean, these are manufacturers that know what they're doing, okay? Uh, Gildan hasn't been the name in, uh, uh, the go-to name in, in, in t-shirts for as long as they have by putting out a, an inferior product. Same with Gildan, uh, excuse me, uh, same with Bella Campus, same with uh, Hanes and uh, Comfort Colors. These are names that have been around for a while, so they know what they're doing. So uh, I, I would say uh, I, there's no clear winner. I mean, you could make a case that a shirt that has heavier fabric is more durable, but at the same time, the construction methods are, are there. Just because it's a lighter fabric doesn't mean it's any less durable. It's just how it feels, okay? 
Um, Bazook Apparel asks, which shirt style launders the best, like no wrinkles from the dryer? Well, that you're gonna accomplish the, with the uh, more synthetic fibers that you have included in the, uh, in, in the, in the fabric. 100% cotton shirts are gonna wrinkle a little bit more, and that's just, uh, that's just the reality of, of using cotton. But every t as you incorporate those syn syn synthetic fibers, you're gonna notice that, uh, that as they come out of the dryer, they're gonna be less and less wrinkled. Now, are you gonna be able to avoid all wrinkles? You know, probably not. But if you use some of those AOP shirts that are 100% polyester, I mean, all you need to do is just shake it, put it on, and I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's ready to go, okay? All right, let's get back to it. Um, Lee Kemp asks, which tees have the longest sleeve? Well, those are gonna be your unisex cut or um, th th your unisex cut, uh, like Gildan 5000s, Gildan 2000s, those tubular constructed designs, because those are designed for, you know, guys like me, okay, that, are, that are have, you know, big fat arms and big fat bellies, okay? Um, so those, that's, those are going to be your, your, your go-tos. And of course the beefy tees, that, that kind of thing. Anything that says relaxed fit, that kind of thing, you're going to notice is going to have a longer sleeve. Uh, Katiana Blaze asks, is the Bella Canvas 3001 see-through? Well, um, we'd get a lot of people arrested if it was. I mean, it's, it's a light fabric. I mean, you can shine a, uh, I mean, depending on the color, you can shine a light through it, but that doesn't mean it's see-through. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's still a shirt you can, you can wear with, with confidence, but I mean, of course, it's going to depend on color and if it's, uh, if, if, if it's wet, but if you put on a white Bella Canvas 3001, you'll be fine. I don't think anyone's, no one's going to, no one's going to, uh, 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 see what they shouldn't be seeing. Um, Kat Nigus has a question. Are there any that have that vintage tea texture? Uh, I tried looking at Printify's site, but there are just so many options. I, I get it. Um, well, we have some uh, mineral wash t-shirts that kind of give that effect. Um, you can achieve that with uh, some of those heather colors that, that, that give that vintage effect. Uh, I'm thinking of your uh, heather mauves and heather navies. Heather navy is a, is a good one uh, to get that effect. Some, we have some like uh, heather, um, heather black colors that you can achieve uh, that, that will uh, uh, get you that sort of vintage feel, or vintage look that you're looking for. I recommend you going through our, our, our catalog. Yes, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, but uh, what, what one thing that you're able to do is that you can select a t-shirt from our catalog and then as you are uh, looking through the print provider selection, uh, all the way on the right, you'll find all the available colors that each print provider offers. So you can just kind of hover your cursor over and kind of go through and, and, and see which colors are available. And if you find what you're looking for, uh, just click on it and then uh, put, your, put your design on it, click the preview mode, and that'll give you a good interpretation of, of, of what it will look like. But I highly recommend that you, that you order a sample to be 100% sure. Um, Cat Girl asks, can you explain what sublimation actually is? Well, sure, sublimation printing is kind of magic uh, because how the uh, paint is transferred, it, it's uh, printed on a special uh, film and then it is converted to a gas and then it is applied to the shirt. How that process actually works, I just describe it as magic because it sounds, it, it sounds pretty wild to me. But it is transferred, it is uh, transformed into a gas, it's applied to the, uh, to, to the shirt, and that's how you're able to use the, those, uh, those all over print shirts um, as the, uh, uh, the shirt itself as a, as a uh, canvas for your artwork. So it's definitely something you, need, you should check out. And we did, I sat down with um, the uh, CEO of Subliminator, one of our most popular uh, uh, all over print providers. Uh, I did that, oh, it's gotta be almost a year now, but you can find that available on our YouTube channel uh, in, in the live section. That's where, this, uh, that's where this webinar will exist as well. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe to the channel, okay? Um, Shell Jenks asks, what are the top three sweatshirts and or hoodies? I'd like to hear more. Okay, well that's easy. Hands down, the most popular sweatshirt in the entire industry is the Gildan 18,000, by far. And the most popular hoodie in the industry is the Gildan 18,500, 
okay? Very popular shirts. People know what to expect. Very, uh, very uh, uh, robust uh, material, very comfortable, um, and it's at an amazing price. Okay, so in terms of uh, sweatshirts and hoodies, it's those are the top ones by far. Okay, but the, are, is that all that we have to offer? Well, of course not. We have options like uh, like um, uh, Champion if you're if you're looking to uh, uh, pr provide that sort of premium experience. Personally, I love Champion products. I love a good Champion hoodie. Okay, do yourself a favor. Go through go through the uh, go through the catalog, and now that you've heard that heard me explain a little bit about fabric weight, you'll be able to understand uh, as you're going through and checking out those sweatshirts and hoodies exactly what to expect. Because if you know what a, if chances are you have a Gildan you know a hoodie or sweatshirt in your closet as well. Okay, so if you know what the what the weight of that Gildan is, and if we if if you've, uh, you you can compare that to the to the other products to find out if they're uh, uh, um, less, uh, less or more thick than that product that you already have, okay? But by far, 18,000 and 18,500. It's not even close. Um, Scott asks, Scott Harn asks, how important are on-model mock-ups to getting orders and where to get these mock-ups? Okay, this is a great question. I'm glad you asked this, Scott, because research shows that Having a real human being as you, in your mock-up image leads to more conversions. Now, is that a, does that mean you can't just uh, showcase a, um, uh, a static image uh, and, and, st and still get sales? No, people do it all the time, okay? But if we're looking big picture, more conversions you'll get from real human beings. You can get those mock-ups. You can use the Printify mock-ups. There are all sorts of services out there. Some some of those uh, some of those d design tools like Kittle and Canva have have options that that you can use. You can use a tool like Placeit to get yourself uh, to get to get access to you know, literally thousands and thousands of, of of models that you can upload your uh, your products to to use for for your mock-up images or. You can order some samples of your own products. One, great, you have, uh, you have uh, your, your own products that you can feature and wear around. And two, get some friends, go down to the park at Golden Hour and take some really cool one-of-a-kind photos yourself. And plus, you can buy these mock-ups on, on, on Etsy and other sites. I mean, there's literally no shortage of places to find these mock-ups. And if you're, if you're going for static images, well, you can, you can use a tool like our background replacement tool um, for some of our, our more popular products uh, where you can upload a custom background to a static t-shirt image and really make it your own, okay? And you can sort of brand or theme your, your store um, using this uh, background image technique to really give it a, a, a unique feel and set yourself apart from those that are using a plain white background. All right. Um, Scott has another question. And tell you what, uh, I am going to, I'm, I'm going to make this the last question because I don't, I'm, I want to be respectful of your time and I don't want to go over and apologies if we didn't get to your question. Um, but join me for those live Q and A's on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'd happy to be happy to keep the conversation going. So Scott Harn with his second question, uh, it will be our last. And his question is, what is the size and resolution needed for designs, PNG files to get a clear, high quality print? Okay. Well, you can find the resolution requirements in our mock-up generator. All you need to do is select the product. And then, as you enter into the into the design editor, uh, into the design editor, you'll find the resolution requirements on the right hand side. But as long as you have a uh, a, a decent image uh, and a DPI of at least uh, 200, you should be fine. Um, also, you could uh, fo uh, follow the uh, specifications in our design guide. You'll find that in our in our in the guide section of our of our platform. And in that design guide, you'll find everything you need in terms of uh, knowing how to uh, what kind of designs to upload for a uh, for a uh, to get to get the the desired result that you want. Okay, so there you go, folks. Wow. We have been talking about t-shirts, but the conversation has just begun because this is just the first webinar of t-shirt month. We have two more to go. Join me in two weeks because I'll be sitting down with uh, Michael Essick and we'll be ta talking, about, talking about designing t-shirts and everything about the, uh, uh, about the world of t-shirt design. And hopefully throughout the month, we'll be, we'll be giving you uh, updates on, on new Printify features and things like that, having our great time. But 
I'm going to direct everybody to, uh, to click the link that uh, Chris Dubbs is going to put into the chat right now to our post-webinar survey, where you'll be able to answer our trivia question based on today's presentation. Three lucky winners will be selected at random to receive our prize package of the three most popular t-shirts in the entire industry, as well as a $50 Printify sales credit. And just let us know how we did. Did, uh, did you learn something? Did, did we leave something out? How would you, uh, uh, what would you like to see from us in the future? This is how we know what to produce for you so that we can make you more knowledgeable and more profitable. It's just part of our commitment to you as our merchants because this is a partnership after all. We'd be nothing without you. Okay, so thank you for watching. Join me in two weeks and get excited for T-shirt month because it's just beginning. All right, bye everyone. Have yourself a wonderful day.